Hello, my name is Yehuda Goldstein. I'm recording from 770 Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York, on the evening and the night after Sabbath of Parshat Noah in 5772. I want to talk about the seven laws of Noah. Since we're coming from Parshat Noah, and the reason why the flood came on the earth was because people were not obeying the commandments of God. And I want to teach what those commandments were. There weren't the Ten Commandments, because they were given some 877 years after the flood to the children of Israel, to the Jews. But before the Jews became a nation, the whole world from Adam on to Noah up until today, 2011, which is equal to 5,772 years uh, since the time of Adam was, was created. There's a moral code of conduct called, we call them today, the seven laws of Noah. Up until the flood, there were six laws, and after the flood, another commandment was added, and making seven. What was the commandment added? Do not partake of the blood, the limb of a of a living animal, while the animal is still alive. And under that category, their general category, comes the uh, particular commandments of don't be cruel to animals in many other ways. But we're not allowed to eat the flesh of an animal while it's still alive. Now, people were, were being wicked, and so God commanded Noah to build an ark where all the animals that were on the earth would, would come into the ark and be saved. Plus, plus Noah and his wife and their three sons and their three daughters-in-law. So there were eight people on the ark and they were our common ancestors. All the people on earth have those people in common as the... Noah, Noah is our great-great-grandfather. All of us. Now, from from the flood, first of all, let me, let me get to one point. Man is made in the image of God. God is a perfect, he's not, not created, he's the creator. And he's, he's, he dwells in, in eternal light, like infinite light. We call him the Ein Sof, the infinite light. And we're made in his image. So we also, our souls are a type of light, like God's light. And the body we have, formed from the earth, is like a, a container for that light. It's like a lampshade containing the light. The lampshade can limit the light. If you want to dim your light in your room, if you don't want to see blasting bright light in your eyes, you put a lampshade. The body's like a lampshade. <clears throat> but the world that we live in is supposed to be illuminated by the light of God through us. We are vessels of light. We are creators, uh, rather cre creations created by the creator in, in his image, in the light. So what are the channels for that light? You know, you can be acting like a lampshade, but it's opaque and not letting any light out. That would be equivalent to what would be sin, because sin blocks the light. Light, God wants the world to be full of His light, His goodness. So how do we do it? We obey His commandments. For each commandment we obey, light is, is shining, shining in the earth, in the world. And that's the, that's the purpose and design and desire and will of God. So those things which bring light into the world are called uh, the seven laws of Noah today, we call them. But even Adam, the first man, and Eve also had these laws to obey. And they were bringing light into the world. Every time they would, they would obey a precept, a commandment of God. So the flood came because people were not obeying these laws. And God said, okay, I, 
I created the world to be a, a, a good place, a place of, of harmony and peace and humanity. And the humanity corrupted itself. So they, they weren't uh, changing their ways. So the creator said, okay, finished. I'm not going to put up with this anymore. So he wiped them all out with the flood. But he chose Noah. Noah built the ark for 120 years. Happy birthday. Alright, so the flood came because people were breaking these laws. Let me let me get a, a card showing what these laws were. This is a picture of the descendant of King David, who we know and understand to be the humanity's redeemer. Okay? There's a picture of him here. We call him the Rebbe. Okay, it says here, we live in a special time when the Rebbe, King Messiah, has announced we are in the actual true and complete redemption. We should now begin to live accordingly. He said that in 1991-92. Okay. Now, the Rebbe said, just act, just add in goodness and kindness and it will reveal light in the world and it will hasten the time of Mashiach's arrival. So, on the back of this card... We have seven laws. Okay. These are the fundamental precepts that the human race depends on for its harmony. And with these obe with obedience to these commandments the world will function properly and people will live in peace and harmony and will fulfill the mission that God has created the world to accomplish. <clears throat> these are pretty self-explanatory, obvious. <clears throat> and these are the commandments that were disobeyed by all the people except Noah and his family. So God brought a flood and wiped them all out. It says in one of our books by one of our great sages called Rashi that he teaches that robbery was one of the really intolerable things that God just couldn't put up with so he brought the flood. Rob robbery in particular was, was one of the many other th sins but the robbery was one of the ones that really was the straw that broke the camel back if you know what I mean. Okay, so this is what I want you to understand that even when, after the flood, Noah had a son, who had a son, who had a son, who had a son, some 14 generations after Noah and the flood, the Jewish people left Egypt, and these are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, and those... That whole family went to Egypt because there was a, a, a flood, a, rather a drought and a, a lack of food. Alright, so they went to Egypt and when they came out of Egypt after 210 years of slavery to Paro, 50 days after they came out of Egypt, the exodus from Egypt, they received the Torah on Mount Sinai, the Jewish instructions for life, which included Sabbath and kosher laws and clothing laws and basically every facet of the Jewish life is is ruled and, and governed by these laws. Now these laws are not to be confused with the original laws that all nations today from the beginning of time till today are obligated to observe as the fundamental principles of moral life. We call them today the seven laws of Noah. But don't confuse yourself, don't get confused with the Jewish laws because Gentiles, non-Jews are not commanded to observe Sabbath, for example, or kosher, or Jewish particular laws. So the Ten Commandments were only given in the year 2448. That's uh, about 3,300 years ago. 
and but all for all time the seven laws are to be observed by all people so it is in your merit if you will observe these laws and keep them as they were given to Moses on Mount Sinai to be re-instructed to all the Gentile nations all right so um, I want to wish you the best and uh, oh by the way if you look behind me tip my monitor here. Okay. up here is the balcony where the Rebbe would give his uh, appearances and uh, it's got a lot of dust on it now it should be cleaned up we look forward to his reappearance and uh, so that's it I want to wish you a good week and say uh, all the best and Yechia Adeneinu, Moreno Rabbeinu, Melech, Mashiach, Lamabod. Long live our master teacher, Rabbi King, Messiah forever and ever. Um, may as well make a, an appeal for, for charity. Um, this place, we call it the Beit Chayinu, the house of our life. It's 770 based Mashiach. It takes a lot of money to run the electricity and the, the, to pay the janitors. Which this place gets turned up. This place gets turned upside down every day, and, and it gets cleaned up every day. It's it's there's a lot of expenses, you know, from the paper products to the air conditioning to the heating to the electricity to the maintenance to the food to the to the poor students that don't have uh, what to go on. So I would like to encourage you, if you if you can find it in your budget, to send a check to 770 to Tadaka to charity, uh, and write on it to to the 770 the Gabayim Gabayim G A B B A I M of 770, and put on it for write charity on it for 770 okay and uh, with that gift you will be blessed with uh, good merits for helping a special place serve you better so I want to wish you a good week and please see my other videos all the best